Hey everyone, it's Daniel from VoiceFlow, and I'm going to show you how to create a super powerful Slack bot that's powered by any PDFs, URLs, uh, any kind of text-based documents that you want to upload. So here I am in VoiceFlow in the knowledge base section. This lets me go ahead and pick any PDFs or website that I want and load it into our knowledge base. So I've got a PDF that I've actually taken from our internal Notion page. So this is all about our Toronto office. Uh, and I'm going to upload it in here. And once it's done, I can actually go ahead and just ask a question like uh, what happens if I lose my key card. And it's going to be able to have GPT look through all the PDFs I have in here uh, and actually summarize this. So I got to pay Andrew 40 bucks. Next up, uh, this is in Replit, the app that's actually running uh, the Slack bot. So I'll show you how to just spin this up and get it set up. And then here we have our Slack bot. So this is powered by our VoiceFlow project. So if I trigger it and say hi, you're going to see um, that it says, you know, bonjour, I'm an AI assistant powered by uh, your internal docs. And you can see here on our VoiceFlow project that that's exactly uh, what I've got it saying. And so let's go ahead and actually interact with it. I'm going to say what happens if I lose my key card. And you're going to see that it's going to be telling me to pay Andrew 40 bucks. But I can go ahead and add anything I want. So I can add all of our internal documents, all of our support documents, our entire website in here. And it's going to be able to have, have GPT kind of crawl through that and answer. So now I'm going to show you how to set this up. Let's start the tutorial. The first thing I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go to uh, developer.voiceflow.com. And this is where our setup is going to be. So in here, uh, this is, gives you an overview of our Dialog Manager API, uh, our other APIs, as well as some channel integrations. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Slack. And this doc is split up into two parts. So the first one is Setup. So this is setting up a new Slack app. And then the second one is actually being able to deploy this on Replit or deploy it on Heroku if you want to host it uh, separately. So to start off, let's go to Slack. Um, we'll click this app here. Uh, and we're going to go and create a new app. So I'm going to say New App. And we'll go from app manifest. We're going to pick the workspace you want. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick my test workspace here next. So for this, uh, if you go back into our developer documents, uh, we actually give you uh, a code snippet to be able to pop in here. This is just being able to pre-populate all the permissions that the assistant's going to need. And great, sweet. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this code block here. And let's go back to the API, highlight all, paste it in here. So you can see here that this is really just telling it um, what you're going to call the app um, and then uh, everything else about it. So I'm actually going to make sure I can change the name to VoiceFlow Slack YouTube Demo. Um, that way we can know which one to use. Let's go ahead and next. So you can see it's got 11 scopes uh, and permissions. Hit Create. And now I've got my app that's pretty much ready to go. So let's go back to the tutorial here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and um, actually copy a couple things. So the first one is we want to install this to our workspace. So I'm just going to scroll down here and hit install the workspace. And we're going to go through that flow together. Great. So now the Slack YouTube demo should be installed on our Slack workspace. So if I go ahead and check it out um, in our workspace here, uh, if I go to add apps, I should be able to see uh, voiceless Slack YouTube. So I'll just go ahead and click that. Now, nothing's set up yet, uh, but we do have the app in our workspace, which is great. So now let's go back to the docs and see what's up next. So the next thing is we want to actually get some of these tokens uh, from this. But the first thing we can do before we need any of these is to actually go into VoiceFlow um, and get your project ready. So we've got a template here um, that I'll put uh, in, in, the, in the YouTube description uh, on our templates page. Um, it'll just be this, super simple. It's going to say, I'm an AI assistant for documentation. You want to make sure that you go over to knowledge base and you just start adding in whatever data you want. So if you've got URLs, you can actually put a bunch of them here uh, and then upload them all together. I'll stick with these two, but this is where you want to go and just upload your docs. And then when you're ready, go ahead and just hit run to test it out. Um, and then you can actually experiment with your app uh, in VoiceFlow and just make sure it works. So. I've got this all set up, and now what we're going to do is we're going to set up the third part of this, which is um, actually forking the Replit. And so if you go to Deploy on Replit, we'll hit Fork on Replit. This is going to open up um, the uh, homepage that Nico has created. He was the one who actually built this, so thank you, Nico. Um, hit Fork, and then add this to your thing. So I'm going I'm to call this VoiceFlow YouTube Slack bot. Great. Hit Fork Repl. And now you've got this all set up um, on your Replit account, which is awesome. So it's pretty much plug and play from this point. 
So let's go ahead and just go back to our dev docs. Um, but once I'm in here, the first thing that I want to do is go into Replit into secrets. Um, and I'm going to start actually creating uh, the, the keys that I need. So in this template that we've got, there's an environment template file. So let's just go ahead and drag this over here and go to secrets. I want to create um, a bunch of uh, secrets with these names. So voice little API key, and I'll show you where to get all of these uh, in a second, but we'll just go ahead and hit save, or actually maybe I need to get them right now. So voice little API key, we're going to go back to our Slack bot here. We're going to go to integrations. We're going to hit uh, dialogue API, and this is your API key for voice little. So just go ahead and copy this, and let's go back to our replit, and I'm just going to paste that in. Great. Next one is voice little version ID. So this is the project version ID that you've got. So in your voice little project, you're going to go to settings and you're going to find the version ID uh, just right over here. So let's paste this in. Great. Next one is voice little runtime. Um, this one is going to be the same no matter what, unless you're on a private cloud, which you probably aren't. So just go ahead and paste that in. So now I'm going to go through the Slack ones. And so I'll show you where to find these and it's all within the docs again. So we'll go for the Slack app token first. And so in my Slack uh, API here, so the, the first one you actually need for your app token is you're going to go app level tokens here and you're going to hit generate and scope. So I'll call this voice flow token. So that's scope connections, right? Hit generate. And I'm just going to go copy this and put it in my app token. Great. The next one is your Slack uh, bot token. So I'm just going to go back to my Slack app here. Uh, and I think for this one, we're going to need to take it from the OAuth and permissions. So go back up, go to OAuth and permissions, uh, and then you're just going to grab the bot user token. And so uh, back in Replit here, Slack bot token. And then the final one is the Slack signing secret. So again, back to Slack. We're going to go back to this kind of main page here. Uh, and I'm going to go to app credentials and take the signing secret here. Awesome. So now I've got all of these set up. Um, now what we want to do is just go ahead and hit run and fingers crossed that it works. Great. Boom. Bolt app is running. Awesome. So this means that the next thing we have to do is just go ahead and publish our uh, project. So if you've already run test, run a test here, um, then you're good to go. If you haven't, just press that run for the first time to compile the assistant, then hit publish and you can call this v1. And we're going to go and publish this now. So once this is published, uh, I should be able to go and actually interact with it on the Slack side. So now let's go to our Slack bot here. So I've got voice little demo. Uh, let's go ahead and just hit hi and see if this works. Awesome. So como ça va? I'm an AI assistant powered by voice little documentation. Ask me anything uh, or click a button below. So I'm going to say um, what happens if I roll a seven. And this should answer back with the Settlers of Catan uh, 7 rules. Depending on how big your document is or how much stuff is in here, um, it may take a little bit to be able to answer, but we're working on improving that latency. Um, and here we go. If the player rolls a 7, none of the players receive resources, and we're good to go. So what's also cool about VoiceO is now that you've got this set up, you can actually start modifying this assistant, and you don't even need to touch the code. It's going to update in real time. So let's say I want to add a button, and I've got some like baked out flows here. So let's add a button called learn about voice flow. And if someone clicks this button, I want to go to learn about voice flow, this intent here. And so now uh, if I test this out in my system here, you'll see that I've got a button, um, learn about voice flow. And if I click it, it's going to take me to this part here. And it said, which part of the tool uh, do you want to explore? And so now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to uh, hit publish again and recheck the assistant and see what that looks like. So that's done. Uh, let's actually go back to my assistant here. And if this worked, uh, we should actually see the same message, uh, but with now with the button underneath. Boom. So really cool. You can actually constantly update this in real time. So if you've got new documents, you can pop them in here. Just press play and publish. Um, same thing with building out flows. Also with voice flow, you can start building out some pretty powerful flows. So these are kind of pre-baked ones that have um, just some text in here and some images. But if you wanted to build out something that actually leveraged an API, like for example, um, let's say you want to add someone to a database, uh, add new user, 
Um, you can go ahead and uh, drag out the API step here um, and start actually making API calls. So if someone then clicks a button that says add new user, you can go ahead, trigger an API call, and then um, you know trigger a success statement. So within VoiceFlow, you can start creating flows that are very powerful, so they can be action-driven. So we actually use this internally for our internal tools. So we um, you know upgrade and downgrade accounts with this. We check billing status, uh, do a bunch of other aspects because uh, we're pulling from other internal APIs or APIs like the Stripe API. Um, or you can have it be more text-based, really whatever you want. Um, VoiceFlow is a pretty powerful and robust tool. But think about it like this knowledge base is kind of the foundation of your assistant. So if someone's just asking questions, that's what's going to be answered from. And then everything on you see on the left here is a is like a flow you can add on top. The actual code itself is in our repo, uh, and the README kind of explains uh, how it's all set up. Let us know if you have any questions. Um, again, tutorial and template is in the bottom. Uh, but thanks so much.